Mix that. <laughs> Okay, I bet you're wondering what the hell this video is about. Well, it's pretty simple and actually kind of fun as well. If you've used the liquify filter in Photoshop, then you know that it can be fun as well as practical. You can easily grab an image, manipulate it with gooey glee, and create something new and bizarre. Now, liquify is a great tool for coming up with concepts, but Photoshop is limited by one thing, lack of symmetry. However, After Effects to the rescue. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an After Effects project which allows you to create fun concept designs with symmetry. The first thing you need to do is open up After Effects, obviously. Your workspace should be blank, and this is what we want. From the top menu, select Composition, then New Composition. It doesn't matter what name you give it or about the animation settings, because this is just a still image. Pick whatever width and height you want, but try not to have sizes too big. It just makes it faster to work with when you have a smaller resolution sometimes. But don't go too small either. Try to stay under 1000 pixels wide or tall. Make sure your pixel aspect ratio is set to square pixels though, or things won't look right. Once you press OK, you'll get an empty canvas. We need to use an image for this, so right click anywhere on the project box and select Import File. For this tutorial, I'll be picking a face image that I got from the net. You can use any picture you want really. Once you have your image loaded, click and drag it onto your timeline. Don't worry about resizing it to fit the canvas or anything, because you'll be fiddling around with it anyway. If you want, you can create a solid layer of any color and place it under your image layer as a background. The next two layers we create will be important. So, right click on the empty spot under your layers and select New Adjustment Layer. An adjustment layer is basically an empty layer that, when you add an effect to it, will affect anything underneath it. Rename this layer to something like Goo. You'll see why soon. With the layer selected, right click on the layer and then select Effect, Distort, Liquify. You'll notice that in your Effect tab, you will have the Liquify options up, but leave that for now. Right click again under all your layers and then create a new adjustment layer like with the last one. Rename this adjustment layer to something like Mirror. Select the layer and then right click and select Effect, Distort, Mirror. Once again, you will see the options in your Effects tab. Now, we need to adjust the settings for this effect. The first thing we do is to change the reflection center. These numbers should be half the width and height of your comp. My comp size is 600 pixels wide and 800 pixels high, so my center will be at 300 by 400. Now you'll notice the mirroring take place. If you don't like the side that is reflected, you can set the rotation to 180 degrees to mirror the opposite side of the face. OK, everything is set up, so now there are two things we do next. Firstly, by selecting the image layer, you can rotate, scale and position the layer to get some interesting looks. Then, you select the goo layer and by using Lucify options and your own wacky imagination, you can come up with some cool and freaky designs. Remember that because you have a mirrored effect on the mirror layer, you can only distort things on one half of your goo layer. Once you come up with the design, you can even go back to your image layer and rotate, scale and position the image to get even more bizarre designs. Ok, well that's it for this tutorial. This was meant to be an intermediate level tutorial mainly for people who know the program or just learned the basics, so you'll notice that I didn't go into a lot of details about how to use the liquify effect or go into all of the After Effects steps. If you're a beginner and would like to learn After Effects, I suggest you check out the beginner tutorials at videocopilot.net for the basics. One warning though, Andrew's sense of humor is a bit corny. Maybe not as bad as mine, but I wouldn't ever tell him to stop. You may get some rough results with this technique, but remember that this is just the beginning. Once you have a good rough design, you can turn it into a high quality piece. 
Photoshop also has a liquify tool with much finer control and better results, but you won't get the real-time symmetry. Symmetry has to be done manually in Photoshop. So, have fun with this technique and get those creative juices flowing. See you next tutorial.